I'm Joe from the Diz His, and today we will be talking Disney with Jeremy. How you doing, Jeremy? I'm doing good. How about yourself? I'm doing well. Doing well. I can't complain. Good, good. So today we're going to be talking Disney. But yes, bef- we are. Yeah. But before we get started, uh, can, we sit, can you share with how we can find you out there? Yeah. Um, so I'm uh, one of the co-hosts of Cast Conversations. Yep. Uh, you can find me on uh, Instagram at Cast Conversations, uh, Twitter, um, at Cast Convo. Our name was a little long, so we had to cut <laughs> it short. Um, and then Facebook, it's actually also Cast Convo. Um, but it'll come up as cast conversations. They, they don't like those long names. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. And, uh, I know I was just, um, interviewing Phil last week Yeah. and, uh, you know, I have, I had the pleasure of being on your show and I had a great time. Uh, so everyone out there watching right now, listening, just go ahead and check out cast, cast conversations. They do, a, um, I mean, these interviews with Disney cast members and it's a lot of fun to listen to. And, uh, yeah, it's a great time. Thank you. Yeah, we loved having you on. That was a really fun episode. Yeah, well, it was. It, it was. I learned fun. a lot, so <laughs> I, I, that's always good for me too. <laughs> yeah, it's always fun to talk Disney. It is. Okay, you ready to spread some Disney magic? Let's do this. Okay, hometown. Hometown. I am from Mantino, Illinois. Um, from Phil, he's from Champaign. I'm about an hour north, so or le- uh, maybe like an hour twenty north, and I'm an hour south of Chicago. Okay, cool. And now we're gonna get to the fun Disney questions. Uh, yes. Favorite Disney resort? Disney resort. So this is a little bit strange, but my favorite resort is actually Pop Century, one of the um, the value resorts. That's mm-hmm. where we always stay when I go there. And I think it just has the best scent in <laughs> like all of Disney. I actually have, I have the diffuser scent going right now for it. Um, I, like, I can't describe what it smells like, but it's just so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we were just talking, about, I was just talking about with Phil, and it's really cool how the resorts have like their own scent right isn't that yeah so cool? yeah like pop century you know has like their own he his yeah. favorite was the grand floridian they're oh, the yeah. sent there yeah he, uh, it's it's just so it's so welcoming when you walk in those those front doors and it punches yeah. you in the face and you're like i'm i'm here yeah i'm gonna tell you a little disney secret okay all right okay uh so you can go ahead when you go there some of the scents they have in like a spray form and you can really? go ahead yeah so if you're staying there you can talk to like the room service and Sometimes they like um, will give you some of that scent, but they come in like no spray the rooms. Yeah, man. Yeah. So we have like a spray bottle. Of one, I forget which one wow. we have it with, but we have like a, we, we got some from one of the resorts and I'm not sure if they do it anymore, if that was like a thing, but it doesn't hurt to ask, right? Seriously. It doesn't hurt at all. Yeah. So it's really cool. Cause every once in a while, like we'll be cleaning our house and we'll spray that spray everywhere. <laughs> and it smells like Disney for like a day. Yeah. And yeah, it just so like, it just brings you back there for a minute. Yeah, for sure. Uh, awesome. so pop century, right? They have a couple yeah, different pop types. Century. They have a couple different, don't they? Like they have like the movies and music and stuff like that. Yeah. So it, there's like, there's like the all stars and then the pop, um, we stay at both of them, but like if I could, if I could pick, it would always be pop century. But mm-hmm. outside of those, if I was staying at a, um, one of the higher end resorts, I would love to stay at the Polynesian. Yeah. Yeah. Polynesian is really cool. I haven't had a chance to stay there yet, but, uh, my friend stayed there and we kind of, you know, hung out with them like for a day and we used the pool and uh, we had Ohana room, room service, which was oh, really cool. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Living I, my dream. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and talking about Ohana, we'll jump into favorite Disney restaurant. Well, we just mentioned it. It's Ohana. <laughs> the, yeah. The breakfast there, we, whenever my family goes, we, we take like every, I don't know, maybe five years or so, we take a trip down there and um, we book at Ohana. And the bread there that they bring you is just so phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. It is really it's good. So good for the breakfast. Or are you talking about for the dinner or we is go it the same the bread for both? Okay. So you I'm guess. not sure what they do for dinner, but um, yeah, I, I really enjoy their breakfast that they have. Uh huh. Well, the one for dinner is like a pineapple type, it's like sourdough bread, I think it is. And it's really good too. I'm sure oh. they have the same one for breakfast too. Yeah. Um, it must be. Yeah. Cause it's delicious. Uh, I have never been for breakfast, but that's something I'm definitely looking forward to doing. So for dinner, do they do that? Um, like the the train where they uh go around the whole restaurant all the characters yeah yeah they do they do like a train at breakfast do they do a little little coconut run for the kids so during like dinner uh you have to get on coconuts and you have to like race all the kids race around like the restaurant it's really cool that's awesome yeah but i mean at breakfast they have lilo and stitch right yes that's just super cool that is so cool I, i don't remember any i don't think there's really any characters for dinner okay yeah but um yeah ohana's great Okay, uh, Disney attraction. 
Disney attraction. Um, for me, it's Flight of Passage. Ooh. I I've said it on the podcast that I'm willing to wait three and a half hours for that ride. Yeah, it's a great I, ride. I I just like every time I ride it, I'm blown away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's one of those rides that when you, it's just amazing. Uh, I mean, you really feel like you're flying through, you know, um, Pandora. You do. You really mm-hmm. do. And I, I actually went one time and I, I went so much that the cast members recognized me and I got to ride on a full strip myself. I got an entire road to myself and I have the video of it. Really? Yeah. So I took a video. I could send it to you after the, after the show. Yeah, it's, that'd be awesome. It's really cool. Para su seguridad, durante todo. So what, what, what is the benefit? Like, so, cause you don't see the other people. So you're more immersive, right? right? Yeah. 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 The, the worker, the cast member told me, she's like sit in um, seat 13 or maybe it's 12 or 13. She's like, it's going to be the best experience you've ever had. You're not going to see anyone. It's just going to be you flying on this banshee. And I was like, wow, this is wow. awesome. So I did it. And it, it's, it's hard to ride again after you have a ride like that. Yeah. That's, that's pretty cool. It that's was pretty, pretty awesome. awesome. Yeah. Okay. Favorite Disney character character it's winnie the pooh i'm a oh. i'm a huge winnie the pooh fan um my disney plus profile is winnie the pooh um i have a pillow pet of him and the one souvenir i bought myself on my program was there's this like 50 dollar like larger plush and i i bought him and he's on my bed every night so um yeah i'm a big pooh fan that's pretty awesome um have you seen the movie that christopher robin movie Okay, so this is the crazy part. I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> what? I started. I started watching it, knew it was gonna be sad, and then I turned it off. I, was oh. like, I, I can't do. I can't do it. Okay. Like okay. I really want to, but like I can't do it to myself. So okay, so you and I. Are, I mean, I kind of. I'm like the same way. I I haven't watched Coco yet because I, mm-hmm. and I really want to, but it's supposed to be like really sad, and this, I'm is. the same way <laughs> where it's kind of like okay, a sad movie. I would rather watch like a movie that's not gonna be as sad. But I watched right. the Christopher Robin movie. And I don't think this, the beginning's sad. Okay. But I think, I don't think it's that bad. So get past the beginning, you're good. Yeah. Did you okay. watch the beginning? I watched the beginning. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, if, you can, if you can get past the beginning, then, you, then you'll be good. Okay. Maybe I'll watch that tonight. But I, it's a great like watch. A, it is. A, yeah. I've is. heard. Yeah. I have like a list of movies that we always talk about on the show that I film makes fun of me for. I haven't seen Aladdin. I haven't seen the, the new Aladdin. Okay. okay. Um, I haven't seen uh, Christopher Robin. Um, and a couple others. Like I finally just um, there's a show I just I just finally watched. I don't remember what it was though. Um, but yeah, there, I need to catch up on my list. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Sometimes it's kind of hard because life's it busy, is. you know. Right. Uh, but when you watch Christopher Robin, you have to message me. I will. I will. Yeah, because I want to hear what you think. I'm excited. Yeah. Okay. Uh, favorite Disney movie, and you can do a classic movie and a new movie, or you can just do one movie. It's your choice. Okay. So. Pixar, Pixar will count for this too? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, I would say my favorite movie is Monsters, Inc. Um, I feel like they have no park representation other than uh, the Mike and Sully meeting, which Mm -hmm. I loved working because I I was photo pass on my program. Um, I loved working with them. Um, And then my newer movie is Coco, which you have to message me when you see. (laughs) Yeah, that's one that I'm going to be watching soon. (laughs) Yeah, the ending, I thought the ending was like so heartbreakingly brilliant that it like made the whole movie Mm -hmm. really yeah i it's so i have to make it to the end oh it's a tearjerker it is it is a tearjerker okay okay and it it it, it hits you like like a punch in the face too like (laughs) you're not making me want to watch the movie man you're not making me want to you're not talking (laughs) me into watching this movie (laughs) well the ride there is great too so the whole ride is great and then oh the ending the song that plays it's it's brilliant Uh uh-huh it's really brilliant Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to check that out. I'm kind of looking forward to it. Um, one of the main reasons why I want to check it out is because my co-hosts for our, our podcast, they keep on giving me a hard time about not mm-hmm. watching it. So I definitely need to watch that one. Yeah, it's, it's probably for me like, oh, well, I mean, I, I suppose I just said it's one of the, the best Disney movies for me of all time. Mm-hmm. So cool. yeah, I, I love awesome. it. Uh, so, you know, you're talking about Monsters, Inc. not having like mm-hmm. a good park representation. Have you been on uh, the Laugh Factory? And I don't think, I think you're right. Like, I think they need, it'd be really cool to have like a Monsters, Inc. like ride, like attraction. Mm-hmm. Um, but have you been on the, have you been to the Laugh Factory? I have. And <clears throat> I don't know if it's because I, I just, I feel like I prefer the rides at Disney, but yeah. I, I tend to like push that one to the side. Mm-hmm. I, I actually have an idea for a ride that I thought would be super cool if mm-hmm. they did a dark ride where every 
like every scene you're going into, you were entering a new door. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. Like that would be kind of cool. And like, you're trying to like save, um, I don't know, trying to save someone. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty good idea though. It can be like Winnie the Pooh. Like almost, right, you know, right. like one of those rides where it's like inside, uh, like kid, no, a kid friendly type of thing, you know? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Be, that sounds, that'll be fun. The scary part can be when, um, uh, why is his name? Freedom Randall? By. Randall. When uh, Randall uh, comes at you with the, um, the laughing thing. Mm-hmm. Um, so that could be like the scary part of the ride, but I feel like that could be, that could have great potential. Yeah, yeah. No, I feel like, you know, I talk about this all the time because now we got like Princess and the Frog coming to Splash mm. Mountain, like redone. You know, I feel like there's not really too many new, newer movies that have rides. I agree. Right? Like, I feel like Tangled deserves a ride. Mo- I think I know Moana's getting that walkthrough attraction, but I feel like yeah. Moana, you know, should have like a ride. There's like so many new ride, like new movies that deserve rides. And, um, you know, Phil and I were actually talking about the, um, the Tangled thing, and we both agree that Tangled needs more representation and we were joking around with one of our listeners saying oh are the bathrooms not enough <laughs> but yeah she she needs yeah. a ride yeah because they have the bathrooms over there right by uh, yeah. uh where is that by small world Talking yeah it's about? such a random thing to give uh, yeah rapunzel yeah 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 and then they have the photo the photo thing right over there too yeah, right. one of the most popular pictures. But they come on, we need a ride. We need yeah, a ride. Yeah, seriously, we need a ride. What happens is that we sit there and like, when did Princess and the Frog come out? That movie came out like how long ago? I don't even know, but it was a long time ago, right? Yeah, 2009. Yeah, and now we get a ride. Like usually we get rides like 10 years like after a movie's out. Right. Like let's go ahead and get a movie out. Maybe right. like two years, let's go ahead and get a ride or something. Almost like right away. I mean, cool. You know, another cool ride for that would be you're riding Maximus. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool, too. That'd be kind of cool. And, like, you could feel the horse, like, going yeah. on the way. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, that would be cool. But Okay. Okay, here you go. Uh, Disney Magical Memory. Okay. So, this is, this is um, I feel like this is kind of selfish. I feel like when people, when cast members have favorite memories, it's, like, of them giving, which is, I have a lot of those. But for me, my favorite memory was um, Phil and I share the love for um, Toy Story. We both love that movie. Um, on my last shift working as photo pass, I, I was working in Andy's backyard or toy story land. I worked there a lot when I was a photo pass and my very last shift, um, I was working with Woody and Jesse and I requested to close with them to like be their, their closer. And I took both of their arms. They, they like took my arms and I, I got to walk them off stage. And so it was us going and there was pictures taken of me. And the fireworks were going off in the distance for the um, Star Wars fireworks show. And then Woody like gestured over to the fireworks. We both looked and I was, I was fighting back the tears. It was hard because last time working at Disney, it's, yeah. it's a rough one. And then I'm being walked off by two of the characters that I love from my childhood. It was, it was a, it was a very magical moment that you, you would only find at Disney. That's pretty awesome. That's a really cool memory. Yeah, it was, it was fantastic. How long did you work there for? I was there for five months i think it was five months um january to may okay yeah that's that's pretty so, awesome yeah uh, it was it was it felt like a week long it was it was yeah. way too quick mm-hmm. yeah okay well uh that's all i got for you awesome yeah thank just, you for having uh, me. no thanks for talking disney with me i do appreciate uh your time uh can you can you share how we can go ahead and find your show one more time yeah, you can find us on uh, Spotify, Apple Music, pretty much anywhere you listen to podcasts, uh, Cast Conversations. On Instagram, we are Cast Conversations. Twitter and Facebook, we're at Cast Convo. So uh, find us there and uh, make sure you listen to the Diz His episode that we had. So, yeah, yeah. yeah that, was, that, was, that was a lot of fun. But uh, thank you again for having me on. No problem. If you want to find more spotlights and listen to some Disney history, check out DizHis.com. Thanks for watching and have a magical day.